I'm Sarah Seaman. This is part four of a mini series on using Magic School in the upper level math classroom. Today, we're going to be using the text scaffolder to dive into upper level math open ended questions from the IB curriculum. So, we're going to come over here and let's get that text scaffolder pulled up. And the goal of this is to use this for homework or independent study and to scaffold key concepts as well as vocabulary to help with that process-based understanding for these questions that require multi-steps for students to master. Reminder to check the description for a link to a one-pager. I'm going to pull up a release test and looking at sequences on the binomial theorem. So we're in that IBAA math. And I'm just going to copy paste this question number five here. And I'm going to say, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Let's actually make sure we're breaking this down for all students to be able to access. Because this is an upper level math, I'm going to throw in university. I'm going to say, let's ask five literal questions. Um, five vocabulary words, the maximum. There wasn't a ton of vocabulary. Let's just leave it at five. It doesn't have to do all five. And then I'm just going to copy paste that in there. It doesn't have to be beautiful. You can also upload that as an attachment if you wanted. When I go through this, you can kind of see that some of this vocabulary, it grabbed anything that it thought should be a vocabulary. So I might say, OK, I really don't care about infinite, but I'm definitely going to grab geometric. And I'm definitely going to grab, oh, integer. Man, some of my calculus students still don't know what that is. So throwing both of those in there. And then it has a series of questions. We can go down here to our actions and let's say, OK, these questions are great, but I'm going to actually make them multiple choice for some of my students to give them a little bit more guidance. And now we have five multiple choice questions that we can assign to students if we're like, they need a little bit more structure on how to get here. Again, my content is easily ready to export to Google Docs or Word. And then I can start assigning different students different levels of scaffold in order for success. I hope this was useful. Again, reminder to check that link in the description to the one pager. And thanks for choosing Magic School.